Hello everybody, welcome back to another Booga Gaming Review. If you guys remember last time I reviewed the uh, the Booga mouse pad, the LED Booga mouse pad, and uh, that one was quite interesting, so check that one out in the description below. This is the uh, the Booga LED gaming keyboard. I got this at five below for $10. Now, I thought five below was supposed to be $5 and under, but apparently they sell $10 um, gaming products now uh, that are Booga branded. So uh, yeah, we're gonna do a quick unboxing of this keyboard here. We're gonna check it out. We're gonna do a gaming test. Unboxing the $10 Booga LED gaming keyboard. Really, they don't, they don't give you much stuff for 10 bucks. Uh, we got the keyboard enveloped in some foam. Let's check it out. Initial impressions. Wow, this is a light keyboard. It, it feels extremely light. Uh, if you hit someone over the head with this thing, uh, they would definitely be surviving. So, you know, it's gonna fail in that regard uh, as a survival protection tool. Um, but so far, uh, it's definitely a membrane keyboard. This is not gonna be, uh, you know, one of those clicky, uh, gaming keyboards that everyone loves so much, but it does have a, a gamery feel. It doesn't feel like your library keyboard. Yeah, it's, it's a full it's a full size keyboard, so it's not like they actually cheaped out on any buttons, which is pretty interesting here. And I guess they have different lighting effects uh, that we can try out. So let's just uh, plug this thing in here and uh, give it a whirl. So as you can see, this is the typical setup I run. This is a 60% uh, Razer keyboard, and I have some custom functions and stuff for it. I like my keyboard small. Most people don't. Uh, we're gonna get rid of this thing, and we're gonna get rid of my regular keyboard, and we're gonna replace it with the ultimate $10 Five Below Uga gaming keyboard. So, um, yeah, the cable that they give that it attaches right into the keyboard is not too long at all. I mean, it's long enough to get by for sure for the typical gaming setup, but for me personally, I wish that was a, a little bit longer, but for $10, can you really complain? All right, so here it is plugged in uh, with the default setting. Uh, to my knowledge, there is actually some different lighting settings that we can go through here with the keyboard. FN plus light icon. We can change the color mode. So I think this is a breathing mode where it goes on and off. I mean, for $10, it has two lighting modes. <laughs> okay, so yeah, there you go. You have two lighting modes there. FN plus page up, going to be making it brighter, so it's max brightness, and you have a couple levels of brightening, which is nice, or brightness. Yeah, there's really not too much functionality, but for $10, at least it lights up. At least it's got some backlight. Um, and, and it's got all the typical functions like a caps lock, num lock, everything that you would expect. Let's uh, let's fire up some games here. All right, so we're gonna be uh, using some Rainbow Six Siege to test this uh, Booga gaming keyboard out. All right, so the most important thing about uh, any any gaming keyboard as we spectate these people here is talking trash. So we're just gonna ask these people, do you guys play Minecraft? You know, all the Rainbow Six Siege players love to play Minecraft, so we, we have to we have to ask. Yes, hell yes, of course. We got the we got the Minecraft boys here in Rainbow Six Siege. So the the typing actually feels pretty good. It's pretty mushy, you know, in comparison to maybe even some other keyboards you could get for around the same price that aren't gaming oriented. They might feel uh, a little less mushy, but it, it has a gamery feel that I think most people that would be buying this for ten dollars would would just be like, yeah, that's that's good. I'm I'm okay with that. It definitely looks and feels cheap though. Like there's no doubt about that. But I mean, it's ten bucks. Spacebar sounds different on this side than it does in the middle, but I mean, it's it's clicking the same. It makes noises. We all know that gamers are into uh, gaming noises, but just running around, it's actually very, very quiet. Quieter than my other uh, mechanical keyboard. Um, but yeah, this for, honestly, is perfectly adequate for, for some light gaming. It's not gonna give you like insane reaction times or anything like that. Not that most people would really uh, benefit from that anyways. Yeah, using it with Rainbow Six Siege so far, it's like, yeah, this, this feels pretty good. Like, if you went to, to Staples and bought a $10 keyboard, you would be just as good as playing video games, but it probably wouldn't light up and it probably wouldn't look like a gaming keyboard. Forgive me if I'm a little rusty with this game, you, you professional players. Oh god, they've already been through here. I'm not good at video games. All right, so, you know, the Booga gaming keyboard, it only has two different lighting modes and none of this moves across and it's kind of annoying that it's all just one color and you can't change that, but I can forgive it because it is only $10 and it actually does feel pretty nice when you're gaming and at least it lights up. I think it's a pretty good deal if you want to get something that looks gamery, you know, maybe you want to show off to your friends and they don't know anything about computers and be like, look, this is my gaming 
professional gaming keyboard and they wouldn't know the difference. But, you know, all in all, it really is a pretty decent deal. Where else are you going to find a gaming keyboard for 10 bucks other than 5 Below with the Booga gaming keyboard? And, uh, you know, the Booga mouse pad I think is probably the best because this has a really clean design. Um, I don't even know if this really fits with the mouse pad, but what can you do? Anyways, I think it's a pretty good deal. Check my other reviews out. I'm Epi Productions. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.